Okay, our goal is to simplify this expression. And I'm going to deal with this in two parts. First, we've got 5, I'll read it, 5 minus 3 times 2x minus 5, the difference of 2x and 5. So I'm going to rewrite the 5 here. And uh, when I distribute this 3, I know it's a negative 3. But to really make sure I don't forget that, I'm going to write plus negative 3. That's the same thing, right? Adding negative 3 is the same thing as losing 3. And subtracting 5 is the same thing as adding negative 5. The reason I do this is it helps me remember that, oh, yeah, so here I've got addition. Okay, so I'm adding. Well, what am I adding? Well, I'm, I'm taking negative 3, really, and multiplying it by both 2x and negative 5. So writing it this way helps me keep track of the symbols of each terms and how they will impact the products. So negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. And then plus negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15, or plus 15. This helps me keep track of the fact that really distributing that negative 3 will reverse the signs of the two terms inside the parentheses. And now we can combine like terms. We've got 5 plus 15. Well, that's just 20. Then we add negative 6x, or we can think of that as minus 6x. That's the same expression. Those are equivalent. All right, I hope this helped.